Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to pop on and talk about hysterectomies and weight. Weight loss, weight gain, what really happens and what can I expect out of my system from something like this or why is it like my body goes crazy berserk? Ugh. And one of the things that oh, can be really, really frustrating for women is that when you actually get a hysterectomy, when you are told this is an option for you, when you are headed down this road, it's not an easy path. You didn't come to this decision lightly. This is something that you have suffered from something typically for a very long time. And this is the, you know, means to an end, basically. And a lot of times, uh, women who have hysterectomy, I'll use an example of, oh, I have these really terrible fibroids or really horrible cycles or, you know, something is really awful for me in terms of my hormones or my period or something. So the easy peasy fix is just, oh, there's a problem with your uterus. Let's just take it out. There you go. Problem solved. Boom. Right? Uh, okay. <laughs> So here's the difference between like an Eastern medicine versus Western medicine thought process on how your body actually works synergistically with all these other different systems, right? If you're thinking, oh, I got a problem with my uterus and there it goes, then my problem's gone. Mm, that's a very Western medicine way of looking at the body and the hormones in Eastern and, and in fact, in Western medicine, I will say this, that your body, everything is connected and works together, which means when you remove a link in that chain, that doesn't mean that the chain just exists without it. There's something that's fundamentally different now. When you remove a link in that change, everything is different. Your brain still reacts as if your uterus is there. Yeah, no. What, what told your brain and all those other systems that, you know, the systems, the back and forth checks, the pathways that run. I'm, I'm, I don't want to get into like the nitty gritty, you know, nerdiness of it. But think about this. When your body was created and formed, these certain pathways were created with it. And when you get that piece removed, yeah. Mm -hmm. Think about this too. Same thing with people who have or um, get like a limb amputated. They have what? Phantom pain. They don't have a limb there but they still feel it. They feel the pain. It's the same thing when you remove a major organ from your body. Ah! <laughs> so for people to say, oh, it doesn't matter. And it's just going to solve all your problems type of thing. Oh, I get a little frustrated with just that type of a mindset because you're really looking at it. Oh, you have a problem with your uterus. We'll just take it out. Your problem goes bye-bye. Mm, and the female body is a little more complicated than that, right? Let's look at everything as a whole. Mm -hmm. Holistic health, right? Looking at the body as a whole and everything connects together. Mm, yes, 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 yes. So here's the basic thing in related to weight loss and weight gain with women with hysterectomies and the biggest frustration for them. What led you to having a hysterectomy in the first place? And again, I totally understand that your journey down that road is not an easy one. You probably, a lot of women that I've worked with that have had hysterectomies, they suffered for years with debilitating pain or problems. And it's they feel better after having a hysterectomy because the main thing that was causing them so much pain is not there anymore. But that doesn't mean your problem is gone because when you have a problem with your uterus, you have to think about it being downstream. It's downstream. That's not where the problem originates, right? So I'm just gonna draw, this is gonna be a very crude graphic. I'm not an artist, uh, but a very crude graphic in terms of how your body works and functions and why there was a problem in the first place. That's the, that's the place you have to think. Okay, I have a problem with my you know, uterus or I have these horrible fibroids or endometriosis so terribly bad that I'm gonna get a hysterectomy. Okay, well why is it there in the first place, right? So if this is the uterus, it's like a balloon, right? This is your uterus. Told you I'm not an artist. <laughs> I'm not yelling at you. I just, it's clearly an insecurity for me. But if this is your uterus, I mean, so you have, again, this is your brain. This is the brain. I'm going to label this brain. And then you have other endocrine glands. We'll just put glands, other things like stress. I'm not drawing any more things. That's why these are boxes, by the way. That's why these are boxes. I'm not drawing. Any more things. And then this is the uterus, this thing right here, right? So when you have a hysterectomy, you're like, oh, I don't have a uterus anymore. 
but you have all these connections down here. Pathways here, pathways here, pathways here, pathways here, pathways here, right? All these things. And then of course, yes, it goes in reverse as well, right? Um, oftentimes when we're looking at hormonal issues, it's a negative feedback loop. So there's communication happening both way, through um, neurotransmitters, through hormones, through nerve, um, nerve impulses. All these things happen both ways, right? And if you have a problem that ends up here, this is the end of the line. That doesn't mean that there's always a problem just there. Something, you know what I mean? If you've got something that's, a, that's wrong, oh, my internet's being, oops, my internet's being weird. This isn't you guys, it's, it's me, it's my... Okay, just because you took the uterus out, that's where all the effect is. All the effect is ending up at the uterus, right here. The problem is in green, right? And this is, again, just an example, just a crude drawing, just whatever. But the problem is still there. The problem still exists upstream. So what happens for a lot of women is, I've got, I've got pain, I've got these fibroids, oh, it's so terrible in my uterus. They just take the uterus out. Okay, now you, your, your fibroids are, are cured because you don't have a uterus anymore. You can't grow the fibroids. But the problem upstream with your hormones or that conversion or the metabolism of something or your, your cortisol levels still exists. And there's other negative ramifications that trickle down from there too. So with a lot of women that get a hysterectomy, they're like, I can't, I have hormonal issues. I have stress issues. And I have all this, these problems with my uterus. Mm. I'm gonna get my uterus removed and then everything's gonna be better, but they end up either the same or worse after the hysterectomy, especially in terms of weight. It's not because they're not trying, it's not because you're not doing anything, it's because you're targeting the wrong piece first, right? You're targeting this when there's these other problems here too. So without targeting and really helping, say that stress or cortisol level, you're not gonna lose the weight, right? And in fact, the body's system and how it functions with everything, you actually will gain weight, gain weight. And because there's a problem here, Tracy's saying endometrial cancer due to this had a hysterectomy five weeks ago today. Wow. Yes. Yeah. See, and, and there's a lot of reasons that women will have a hysterectomy. I use the example because most of the women I work with have still a hormonal issue, right? That type of a thing. But it's important to understand the entire pathway and to realize that again in an Eastern medicine viewpoint of the body and how everything works together that just because you remove the uterus your brain still wants to send messages right that phantom limb all of these things so it's important to look at the entire pathway still there's a lot of women that I work with that have had hysterectomies still have other hormonal issues symptoms weight etc and I will recommend for them to get that Dutch test which is a dried urine test that, that shows you the pathway, that tells me what your cortisol levels are, so that I know exactly what your system needs. Yeah, yes. Allie is saying, I had a hysterectomy in 2017, followed by four <gasps> abdominal surgeries caused by the hysterectomy. Oh my, oh, Allie, my heart goes out to you, lady. Oh, oof. that is rough. Still have ovaries, yes, but hormones are off the charts. Yes, yeah, see, this is this is where it is. Yeah, like, oh, we'll leave your ovaries and things will be fine. But will they? Are they? Right? If you had a, uh, if you had a hysterectomy and things are like all peachy keen, cool. Hmm. But for most women, that's not their experience. For most women, they've had a hysterectomy and they're still experiencing a crap ton of problems. They're still experiencing this inability to lose weight. They're still experiencing the hormonal imbalance and the cortisol backlash that their body still has. So again, where do you start, right? What do you do next? What, what, what are some things that I can do? Because a lot of you are probably thinking, oh my gosh, yes, uh, this is me, or I know somebody that, you know, this happened to them or they just had a hysterectomy. Um, I have resources for you. First, uh, the one thing I want to um, 
you know, mention is the Dutch test. I do Dutch testing. It gets sent to your house. It's dried urine test. It shows you the complete pathway so you understand exactly where your hormones are off and you can really, you know, then I help you maneuver the best position to start with there. Um, I do have a 12 week challenge and oh, I gotta tell you, at least 25 to 30% of women that are in my 12 week challenge have, uh, you know, have had a hysterectomy. It's, it's pretty common. So I put in the comments right now, a link to join the wait list. The wait list, it's not quite open. There will be a discount. We open it on Friday. There will be a big discount, um, on Friday only. It is just for 24 hours. Um, but you'll want to check that out as well. So again, Dutch test, get on that wait list for the 12 week challenge. Um, and that's where I teach you how to eat for your hormones, your cycle, really reset everything. I have a podcast, The Female Health Solution. You can subscribe to that. My YouTube channel is Dr. Beth Westy. All my videos get archived. So if you're like, oh my gosh, what else does she talk about with hysterectomy? Go to my YouTube. It's going to be there. And then I do have a couple of books um, related to this on Amazon, The Female Health, so The Female Fat Solution, all about female menopause solution. And this really focuses on, you know, menopausal women without an active cycle anymore oh, and everything there. So lots of stuff. This is a heavy topic. Um, so I, I want to say thank you for those of you that, um, you know, commented here and are sharing because this is a, this can be heavy. Yes. I had an abscess after my hysterectomy. Oh yeah. Right. Um, still have ovaries, but now most likely we'll have to have them removed due to my right ovary that had a cyst coming back. Yep. Hyperplasia can turn to cancer. Oh, yeah. Well, when women have these hormonal issues, um, it, it's something that can just kind of go off the rails, a train off the rails. And, 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 it, and it's just, how do, how do you rein that back in? How do you, how do you stop that avalanche? Right? There's a lot of things that you can do. Of course, for some women, it is absolutely medically necessary, but for a lot of women, a lot of women, you can finally get put back in that driver's seat, take the reins and really start to get your health, your hormones back under control again with simple things that you do every day, getting more in touch with your system, figuring out where it's going wrong and really following the right steps for you and your body. What I do that's really, really different from a lot of other people out there is I really make things customized to you, to you specifically. You and your body has been through something completely different than everybody else. And even though somebody else may have had a hysterectomy, what works for them is probably not going to work for you. If you've had, you know, especially if you've had a different health history, which most people have, right? Yes. So that's why I help women get such amazing results because I really customize it. So <laughs> Tracy, I need you in my life. Yes, Tracy. I think you do too, honestly, with all the stuff you have going on. So again, all the resources that I have for you, books, podcasts, YouTube channel, everything else, but most importantly, get on that wait list, get on that wait list, uh, find out more. And especially in terms of even just learning more about your body and system, a lot of times for women getting into the 12 week challenge, I will recommend they get a Dutch test because then I can really see exactly where, especially if you've had a hysterectomy, Oof, it just targets it so much, so, so well. So that's what I got for you guys today. Again, the 12 week challenge does open Friday. So get on that wait list right now. So you are included when I do that huge discount on the 12 week challenge. Um, and again, I would encourage you also, because this is a heavy topic, two things. One, if you know someone who needs this message, please, please, please share this with them because so many women are lost in this realm and they're told kind of the same information, right here. Oh, there's a problem with your uterus. Let's just take it out oh, and they ignore the rest of this. There's a lot of work that can be done. A lot of things you can do to improve this part, which then downstream improves that, right? Makes sense. The second thing is, is that if you have more questions on this, please let me know. Send me a DM, send me an email, comment on this video. I am more than happy to do more on this, to deep dive into any part you feel like you want more information on. I'm here as a resource for you. I love doing these videos and educating women. My mission is just to educate women so you know more about how your body works and functions so you can match your everyday lifestyle with your hormones and cycle and everything else to get and keep a better result. So if you've got something that you're like, oh my gosh, what about this? Or, oh my gosh, how did this? Or this is what happened for me. Can you talk about sleep and this or exercise in this or, you know, other things that can be helpful for this? Because there are so many other things, so many other things. 
that I can dive into, but I really want to tailor this to what info you're looking for. So let me know and I can do a video. Um, otherwise, that's what I got for you guys today. Oh, kind of a heavy topic, but so important to cover. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Get on that wait list and I will see you later.